It's broke. Let's fix it. Let's see if anything goes flying. Okay. That is actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, where the brush is rubbed, it's looking pretty good. The push button's up here, but I think this is the switch back here, and it's connected by this long rod. Now this thing's like a jigsaw puzzle. Now this is where the power comes in, right here. And right on the other side of that is the part that moves, so I'm guessing the switch is contained inside there. If I can just find a way to get it out. And maybe we can have a look. Ah, there. All right. Now this is the actual switch. Now I don't know if I did that or not. But those, that's on that switch, two broken pieces of plastic. Well, there's the problem right there. No, that's not the problem. The problem's in there. Okay, here's a switch that'll fit in the space. Let's see if we can get it out of this little carrier. Yeah, okay. So the thickness of this is about the same as where this switch was sitting in here. I'm just going to come in and cut a rectangle right there. Okay. Now that is in the way, so I'm going to just cut it off. That's in the way too, so I'm going to cut it off too. Now for this to work, these wires are going to have to be fished out through this hole. Okay, so this one's too short. I'm going to have to extend it as my only choice. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to hollow out a little more space because now with these with these spade connectors on here uh, it's it's going to be pretty crowded. Plop 
plenty of space in there now. Okay. There it is. Now, to reinstall the armature. All right, what am I missing? I think all we gotta do is get the brushes on. Test it out. This can be kind of tricky sometimes because the spring on the brush wants to pop out. Okay, so it's ready to test. Let's uh, plug it in first. See if anything shorts out. Okay, so far so good. I even have a light in there. So let's try it. I love knowing how to fix things. <laughs> That's it. So that problem could have been any number of things, and I'm just glad it was the switch and I was able to cobble in a new one. I know it's only a $30 angle grinder and I could have just as easily gone and bought another, but that one's 20 years old, and the $30 angle grinders from 20 years ago were built a lot better than the $30 angle grinders of today. I would rather fix that and keep using it because uh, as you saw the uh, armature of the thing was clean the bearings were smooth um, the the brushes had over half their life still on them and i've i've used that thing i punished that thing for years now the argument could be made that i could just go get another grinder and uh, be on with my work but this job took 40 minutes start to finish it would take me longer than 40 minutes to go get another grinder. Now I can get back to the job I was doing when I broke the damn thing. Anyway, that's all for today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.